introducing the Maxi Cozy Mura 3 push chair. Now this is suitable from birth up until 15 kilos, which is about a three to four year old. It has got a seat unit that is facing away from you, but it will also turn around and face towards you. It comes complete with a full rain cover, and that does cover all the way over where the foot part is. That just slides off, and you have got Velcro on the side, both sides. And it has a full zip on the front, so you can get into your child nice and easily. So just removing that off completely. Going onto your push chair itself, I've got a solid padded ergonomic handle, which is fully adjustable by squeezing the grey button on the inside. Fully adjustable hood, and you have got side panels and a back panel that are see-through. Going onto the seat unit itself, it's very well padding, in fact extra padding, and that just velcros into position there. I've got a five point fully adjustable padded harness, and that's padded shoulder straps and crutch strap as well. You have got this unique T-bar bumper bar, and that just pops off nice and easily. It does secure underneath as well with a strap. I've got adjustable footrest, and that's the two grey buttons on the side here. Normally you would have that out flat until they're about 12 months old. We don't want little legs dangling. And then when they do get older, just squeezing your buttons will allow that to go down, and that gives that extra calf support, that extra comfort for them. Footrest, of course, and you have got swivel wheels on the front here. Swivel wheels, when you're going around shops, we want that manoeuvrability, but when you are going out on that heavier ground, you will need to lock off those wheels, and that will give you much better suspension going over grass, gravel, cobbles, or sand. Now, this is full air tyres all the way around, so it really is an all-terrain push chair, and it's one of the few all-terrain push chairs that will allow you to have the seat unit either way. You can also quick release your wheels as well, and that's just the grey button that's on the back, and that will just remove that quickly and easily, making sure you have got that nice and secure before you do go off with your child. Rear wheels remove as well, but this time it's the centre panel on your wheel, taking that off nice and easily, again squeezing that back on and making sure it's secure. Now we've already said it's air tyres. So very kind of them, they do supply you with your own pump. And that's a separate compartment in your basket, so it's not taking up any of your shopping space at all. The basket I've already talked about, and you have got your shopping basket here. You've got a full recline position on this. I've already said it's from birth. And that's a solid handle that's on the back, and it's a solid bar right near the top. And all that you need to do is just release that, and that does go completely flat. Now, when it's in the flat position, if you've got your hood up, it looks like it's not going to be very good coverage. They've already thought of that as well. Hiding in the back of your hood is an extra piece of fabric. And the whole thing just sort of flaps out like so. Two zips either side of your hood secures that into position just doing that for you and you have got a little toggle part on the back of this fabric when it does go all the way around if you don't feel it's quite secure enough when you have presters that are just on the side of the fabric that attach onto your push chair you can tighten that off even more now as I've already said we have got the facility to have the push chair facing either way so I'm just going to sit that up this solid bar that we use to do the recline, you've got another one, and that's at the base of your push chair. So just pulling that out, it releases that part off, and your seat unit comes off nice and easily. Flipping it round, and all that you need to do, line that up, pop it into position, and it's basically the two little black buttons that are on the side, and it literally just clicks into place and you'll hear a really nice loud click, again, allowing you to have that position whichever way you would like it to go. So again, just removing that off. I'm going to take the whole thing off and show you the frame. When we do the folding down mechanism, 
You can have your seat unit facing away from you. It will not fold down with the seat unit facing towards you, but it will facing away, but it won't fold quite so flat. But I'll talk you through that as we do it. To take off your hood, just sliding off, really easy to do, just a slide on and off action. Now we've got just the frame itself. I'm going to do folding down, and I find it slightly easier if we release off the front wheels. It makes it a smaller package. And just tipping that away, again, will make it slightly smaller. I'm just going to pop my pump away so it doesn't go rolling over the floor. And again, that Velcro's into that nice, neat little po pocket. Handle down. So if you were tall, pop your handle down. Again, makes it smaller. You've got a safety catch on the side, and that just depresses out of the way. Pull up both sides, and you're going to go forwards with it. Then you also go down with it. When it goes in, you heard that click, I've got a red bar on the side here, that's the safety lock, and that will lock that off. If we've got the seat unit on, that's how small that's going to go. It won't go any smaller than that. But again, ideal, if you're going to wheel it into a hallway, that's nice and small and compact to go away. However, I'm going to put it in my car, so I want it smaller than that. Hand hold underneath the big black part in the middle, and you've got a grey part on the front and a red part. Squeezing the grey will release off your red safety, and that allows you then to tuck that in, and those wheels will make that much smaller. So if I just lay that down, it gives you a better idea of how small that's going to be to go in your car. To put back up, all that we're doing is just easing out those front wheels, and that big black part with the red part on is going to lock down. Nice loud click. Can't get that wrong. And then releasing off your safety catch, you literally have to pull it in towards the centre of your push chair. That releases it. You'll feel your handle start to go. We go up with it, and then just making sure pressing down locks off that frame. Really easy system to use.